Alright, I was going to show you guys this uh, emulator that I um, basically review. This emulator that I found today on the Play Store. It's free. Uh, apparently not finished, I guess, what they're saying is Mupin. Mupin, I don't know that I'm pronouncing that right, but 60, Mupin 64 plus AE. It's, uh, I think, an Android version of a PC N64 emulator, I think. Uh, but it, it runs very well, and uh, go through the list of games I found that work right now. Is Banjo Kazooie F Zero X Goldeneye kind of works? It's a little slow sometimes, but it's playable. Um, some levels I don't find playable, but the uh, what's that one? That the, the damn that place that second level that everybody likes or seems to like. I know I like it a lot. The something or e. <laughs> yeah, that 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 level works fine. The first one works fine. I had a little trouble with this the. The third level. Uh, Mario Kart 64 basically works perfectly. San Francisco Rush, another perfect game. Um, Star Fox 64 works perfectly. Star, uh, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, that was one that I was really happy that worked basically perfectly. The only glitch I saw was um, the menus only ran at half the screen. And I don't know if that's a problem with the resolutions being a little bit different for the menu and for the game, possibly. Because it might, yeah, I'm thinking maybe it runs at high res only in game and not at the menus, so it's showing a half screen or something. So, whatever. Super Mario 64 works perfectly, no problems at all. Turok 2 Seeds of Evil works with a different plugin, or it shows nothing. <laughs> and I think there's a little glitches going on there as far as the graphics go, but uh, it's speed, it's you know, perfect speed. And it's definitely playable. Wave Race 64, there was a little slowdown, but it was playable. It kind of picked up. Zelda Ocarina of Time, there's slight graphical glitches in the top-down camera angle, but for the most part, it is perfectly playable. Okay. So, yeah, this, this game, uh, and it depends on your device as well. So, this emulator I found has worked the best out of all the ones I've used. I used N64 OID, it wasn't very good, it had very little settings, and yeah, I wasn't too happy with that. I used, there was another one that's just like this, it's called N64 Emulator, it's another free emulator, but there's slight differences. Um, it seems like this is slightly more updated, but for the most part it's the same thing, it's just no ads. The, the other one was raped with ads, so a lot of people didn't like it because of that. But there are some settings in here you can... You know, you have audio settings, you get audio and video plugins, and uh, there's Xperia play controls uh, for the Sony Ericsson Xperia play only. Um, and you can use a, a gamepad as well as it's a virtual gamepad, so you can actually hook this up with your gamepad. Uh, there's auto save. Uh, yeah, so. I'm really trying to think of anything else other than there's a few little workarounds for graphics and shit like that. Um, you could also, of course, save your gameplay anytime, so save states and uh, all that fun crap. Uh, so, finds to be a really one of the best uh, portable emulators for N64 that I've ever played. I had an um, I had an emulator on PSP N64. It played like crap, and I deleted it because there was nothing really that I deemed playable. When I say playable, I'm not talking about you can start it up and play it. I say playable. I'm talking about you you'd actually wouldn't throw up if you played the game. So that's what I mean by playable. Some people have that. Oh, uh, playable means you can actually start the game and play it, even though it's one frame per second. So no. I'm talking about would you want to play it? Okay, so choose game. I'll show you some little little gameplay of some stuff here. I'm gonna do uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer because I love that game, and this game. Oh, it's upside down. Nice. Um, well, I'm gonna have to adjust here. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can get this to stay straight without the wire in the way. 
I was hoping I would be able to get it that way, but well, maybe we can get it to stay still. <laughs> I got it on a stand, and uh, it's a little rough, but yeah, here it is. Star Wars Episode One Racer. I think it saved what I did. As you see, that the the menus run at half resolution, half the resolution of the screen. Um, let's go free play, I guess, or time attack. Let's go with time attack because it's less nerve-wracking. Um, yeah, I love this game, but yeah, the tracks can be a little bit on the nerve-wracking side. So here's my profile. I've unlocked a few courses, so... Um, try to go with something that you don't normally see all the time. I guess you do see Endo Prime a bit, but I like this course. Uh, so, I'm going to show you a little bit of that. Like I said, it does depend on your, the hardware you have on your device, but this works fairly well. Now, there isn't really fog here. There is an option for fog, but it's... Mind you, also I'm playing with, it, with my arms wrapped around a tripod, so... It's not going to be as good as I normally play, which is still like shit, but... Whatever. What was I talking about? Okay, there's no fog, but there's an option for it, but it's not... You know, the... The fog is not a complete um, thing yet. It's kind of being worked on, so it's too glitchy to actually use. Oh, Jesus Christ. At least this is not the way I normally play. I mean, the way I normally play isn't great at all, but, you know, this is rough. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, jumping off of here was not fun. What am I talking about? I don't know. Anyways... So yeah, it, it works. This is how it basically works. So perfect just without the fog. Um, it's like this all the time. So I was very happy to see this working because it's... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. It's... Uh, this is a, one of my favorite games. I actually bought the N64 just for this game. And I didn't realize it was actually on the Dreamcast. And I had like three Dreamcasts. So anyways, that's that. Uh, let's get out of here because, you know, the only thing I can do is wrong in this game right now, uh, in any game here. Uh, if I can find the, here it is. It's the menu right here, and we're going to go menu. And we'll load up another game, choose game. Let's go for, I don't know, um, what can we do here? What can we do? I guess we'll go with Banjo-Kazooie. And I'll uh, load up my save point. Because that will bypass all the bullshit talk in the beginning. And this is Banjo-Kazooie. Um, yay! And it runs perfectly fine. I haven't really done anything in the game. <laughs> But yeah, here it is. Yeah, so it works perfectly fine. Uh, the only glitch is this. I think that's a glitch, right? Maybe, maybe not. I think it is. Anyways. Well, there you go. Uh, let me try to... It can be a little rough with the way the control is set up because we got the triggers here and it's sometimes it it's not the easiest, most convenient thing. So there you go. Let's get out of here and we'll load up a new game, another game. I'm gonna show you some gameplay. Well fuck it, every game. We'll go with everything. We'll show you the bad stuff, the good stuff. Oh, what am I doing? I'm <laughs> in the wrong thing. I'm trying to load up a game, I so I hit load. So no, choose game. Sometimes it does get a little. It would help if I wasn't I didn't have the screen half off the camera. So now we're gonna go. Let's do Goldeneye. That one doesn't work perfectly, but it's it it's okay. And of course, the phone, as per usual, rings during the time I make a video. Um, but whatever. I'm gonna ignore it. Okay. 
Here we are. Hmm. Select minish mission. So we have facility. Uh that's fine. I'll show you facility works. It's just can be a little bit um it can be a little bit slow at times and uh graphic uh sound can chop up a bit. <laughs> be a little but this this actually the, the facility works fairly fine, so it might not be so bad. I think this is set to widescreen, so you can actually play it in widescreen and all that. Now, this is where some of this gets a little rough. Um, oops. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> I can't do that. Fuck. So, yeah. Uh, just <laughs> Oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons, damn it! See, I'm trying to do this on camera and I fuck up every time. So it's that. <laughs> okay, I completely fucked up the easiest part of the game. Yeah, the, the controls can be a little rough sometimes. Sometimes you just are not getting the proper... What the fuck? Where am I? Ah! I hate this. I, I'm trying to. I got a camera in my face, so. Oh. Die. Anyways, we go here. 